Chapter 4, The Phantom Town of Full Sense. So this is the phantom town we heard about, huh? It's like something from a horror film. I find the place unsettling too, but we must, mustn't let that keep us from our investigation. Who knows what kind of valuable information we might find here about the Elysian box. The Professor, Luke, and Floor decide to walk around town. That's right. Hey, look, it's the mailman. Parcel. Oh, fancy running into you here. Hello, howdy, hi, and all that. Hey, you're... The postman, yep. I've got post to deliver here, but it's always dark when I come, so it takes forever. No wonder the people here always seem so on edge. Well, that's all the more reason for me to bring a little sunshine into everyone's life with the post. Wow, you deliver letters all the way out here? I certainly do, and I've got a schedule to keep while doing it. So on that note, I'll be off. See you around. It would seem our friend the postman works a very, very wide area for delivery. But how can he cover Dropstone and Full Sense every single day? The two towns are so far apart, it would be simply impossible. <laughs> you may think so, Luke, but our world is filled with, uh, full of inexplicable phenomena. This is but one of many. I suppose so. Bing. That bronze statue appears to be cared for. Gimme hit coin. Thank you. Gimme hit coin. All hint coins, please. Wow, the electricity bill for this place must be huge. <laughs> they don't pay for electricity. What are you talking about? Ugh. Are you all right there, Flora? You don't look well. I'm not sure. I just started feeling sick all of a sudden. You're as white as a sheet. We'll find a place for you to rest straight away. Hmm, I don't see any hotels. If there were any, you'd think there'd be a sign or something. Despite the lack of advertising, I'd say one of those buildings over there is a hotel. The Professor, Luke, and Floor decide to seek out a hotel. Puzzle. Where's the hotel? Near the town train station are four buildings standing in a row. One of these four is supposedly the local hotel, though it lacks a sign. Even so, if you study the area carefully, you should be able to tell which of the buildings is the hotel. Can you work out which of these four buildings is the hotel? Okay, this one I remember, and I was literally, like, looking really hard for, like, five minutes. And then I felt really dumb when I found the solution, because it's, it's pretty obvious. I mean, it's probably obvious to you guys right now, but for me, I was just like, okay. This one, I, I mean, that doesn't look like a regular chimney. There's... I don't know. This one has a lot of windows. Yeah, so... The hotel is C. And if you look at C, you'll be able to tell why it's C. Because it's... It doesn't have a sign, but it still kind of has a sign. <sighs> Let's go to the hotel. Let's see I was to say, if it told me I was wrong, I was going to be mad. That's right, the windows, the clock, and the door of the building, of building C, spell out the word hotel. Let's go. Come along, children. You got the ingredient, dream fluff. Use it to create new blends. Oh yeah, I can make tea, I forgot about that. How are you doing, Flora? Any better? A little bit. I think that with some rest, I'll be back to my old self. Laura, Luke and I are going to go out and learn more about this town. Why don't you stay here for a while and rest? Yes, take it easy for a while, Flora. We'll be back before long. Thanks, Luke. Be careful out there. You too, Professor. Do you think Flora's going to be okay? I wouldn't fret too much, Luke. She may just be exhausted from our long journey. I think our best course of action is to gather whatever information we can and hurry back to the hotel. After all, a gentleman never keeps a lady waiting. 
Laura has left the group for now. Check who's traveling with you on the top screen. Okay, let's go explore the town. Give me a puzzle. Oh. Good evening, sirs. I do hope the young lady traveling with you feels better soon. Thanks. Hint coin. Uh... Oops, sorry. Thanks. Yay! Yay! Okay, let's get out of here. Everything I've seen leads me to believe that Dr. Schrader visited Full Sense. The Elysian box and the facts we need to solve the mystery of his death are close by, I'm sure of it. Do you think whoever stole the Elysian box might be hiding here as well? It's still too early to tell, but I'll know more if we can work out why Dr. Schrader ventured out here in the first place. For now, our best course of action is to search for anything connected to the Elysian box. Let's get to it then. Lead the way, Professor. For now, puzzles. Oh, it's giving you tr- Oh no! I forget, do you have a capture card, Beth? Or, er, well, I'm getting, oh, of course you have a capture card. You do switch games. I'm sorry for that question. Is it just, ah, uh, God. Um, but what are you playing it off of? Um, capture card is not available for PS2. Yeah. Oh man, I know for PS2 I have, um, fuck. I have this little box called an OSSC, um, that you can plug, like, component, uh, stuff into and then it outputs it at HDMI. Because I know you have, um, obviously most cards don't have, uh... Oh, you were trying to PCX2? Okay. Jesus! They're really, they're really trying. I got it. You know, I haven't used a PS2 em emulator in a long time. Um... Dang, I like, I think my bot, like, has... Purged those so fast that they didn't even show up on the, uh on stream elements. Shit. Yeah, god, as I know, right now obviously I'm doing DS emulation, but that's way easier than than PS2. You know you got it to work forever ago, you said maybe you can help you chip. Yeah, no no, I can. For sure, I don't mind. It might be a good thing for me to work on too because I I mean there are plenty of games I have, but there are also plenty of games I don't have, so it would be a good thing for me to be able to to do it as well. Mark my words, Samuel. It's here in that in town. I can guarantee that. You are to scour every inch of this place and bring it back to me as soon as you find it, okay? Ah, come on, Unco. Do you really think it's everything people say it is? I don't know. It kind of sounds like a load of baloney to me. Are my ears playing tricks on me? I could have sworn you just told me that my information was wrong. You're in no position to be lecturing me on this subject. Now get out of here and start looking. Okay, okay, no need to blow a gasket. I'm going. What do you think? What do you think Mr. Beluga and the train conductor were talking about, Professor? It would appear that they, too, are on the hunt for something. Look, Professor, what on earth could that be? Oh, yeah, the Book of Many Locks. It's some strange sort of book. Perhaps someone dropped it while running about town. Yikes, take a butcher's... Take a butcher's at this crazy symbol on the cover. Zunder, what is... is Zunder? Dixies? Is that actually a thing people say? <laughs> take a butcher's? What does that mean? My god. Um, uh... Oh, uh, is it, people have looked it up on here. Okay, have take a butcher's, British English, slang, 
have a look at something. Come over here and have a... Yeah, this phrase comes from rhyming slang in which butcher's hook stands for look. What is wrong? <laughs> okay, you know what? What's wrong with English, I should say? Not what's wrong with British people, but dang, I mean... From the context, I could tell that's what he was saying, but I also couldn't wrap my mind around how exactly that, um... Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. The symbol seemed to be in the shape of a goat. Well, whatever it is, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. But I do wonder what's written inside. It's hard to tell. These locks mean we can only read the first entry. Still, this symbol intrigues me. Say, Professor, maybe somebody in the antique shop over there can tell us something about it. Excellent idea, Luke. Let's begin our investigation there. Okay, let's see. News. Bonk. Beluga seems to be working Sammy like a dog, sending him all over town in a frantic search for some unknown item. It's unclear why Beluga would set up a secret train line connected to Full Sense, but it's clear this item is very important to him. What could it be? The professor and Luke decide to visit the local antique shop. Okay, um... I can't believe you can buy all this on the street. I don't... Well, what is it, bro? Uh, oh, another hint coin. But yeah, it, um, Oh, well, hello. In we get... We're, oh, this is the antique shop. It's our boy, Chelmy. Inspector Chelmy, where did you come from? Hmm, took the words right out of my mouth, laddie. Wasn't expecting to see you two in a place like this. After some field work and dropstone, I was able to deduce that this town and the Elysian Box are linked. Dr. Schrader had stockpiled quite the stack of research on the Elysian Box. The criminal I'm in pursuit of more likely than not killed the doctor to get his hands on the box. So instead of chasing the man, I decided to chase the box. When I find it, I'll find the culprit. Mm. Wow, that's a solid bit of reasoning there. I didn't think Inspector Chelmy was that sharp. Wow, rude. Eh, you say something, lad? Um, no, sir, not a word. Good, because I have no time for idle chit-chat. I've got a murderer to catch and cart to London. Come along, Barton, we're leaving. Um, I mean, yes, sir. Back to this guy. Good day. Are you out shopping for anything in particular? You've unlocked this part? Oh, yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? Also, Zunder, I was going to ask you something. Does anybody you know, or have you actually ever used the, the term have a butcher's at this? Because they just used it in this game, and I know for a fact that it that lo it was different in the US localization because nobody in the United States would know what the hell that means. It apparently just means to take a look at something because Butcher's Hook rhymes with look. See, have a gander, I, I understand. And I'm just like, yeah, you know. Duh. Yeah. I apologize, but we're not here to shop today. There are a few things I'd like to ask you about, however. Firstly, there's this book we found. We were also wondering if you'd ever heard of an antique known as the Elysian Box. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a rhyming slang thing. I don't know if I'm allowed to say Cockney. Can I say Cockney? Does that make me a bad person? Well, I don't even know if that's a slur or if that's just, like, a group. Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure. 
Oh dear, here we go with that box again. You know, you're the third person to ask me about it today. The third? Those two detectives you saw were in just asking about it and half an hour ago, there was a young lady. She seemed interested in knowing whether anyone had been searching around town for the box. Hmm, can you describe this young lady? No, oh, she was quite the beauty. She wasn't a local, but she had a face that seemed somehow familiar. Ah, and, and the officers, well, they said they were here on an official police investigation. I'll tell you what I've told everyone today. Wish I could help, but this box you're after is news to me. One of my customers, I forget who, mentioned something about the box having quite a history behind it. If the thing was ever in full sense, it could have been in the Herzen Museum. I'd suggest you check there. Okay. Where might we find this museum? Uh, just look for the big building in the middle of town on the north side. The museum houses a wealth of documents celebrating the history of our town. This is all extremely useful. Thank you for, your, for the suggestion. We'll be sure to pay the museum a visit. Now, oh, before you run off, did you mention that you'd also found a book? Ah, yes, that's right. Please feel free to take a look at it. Hmm, quite an unusual construction for a book of its age. Lovely work and very rare, I'd say. Would you happen to know anything about this symbol on the book's cover? Hmm, I was just about to comment how, uh, on how familiar that symbol seems. Uh, though it has no significance I'm aware of. I must confess what drew my eye to this book was its locks. Old gadgets of this sort always fascinate me. Its construction is very basic, so you might be able to open the locks with any old key you can find. As a matter of fact, here, why don't we see if this one does the trick? Think of it as my way of thanking you both for showing me something interesting. Many thanks, my good man. I'm not your good man. Well, not quite Cockney rhyming slang, but something close. Yeah, I gotcha. You got the diary key. Bum, 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 bum. No, it's too bad we didn't find out more about the book. It certainly would have been nice, but we'll have to put the book aside for now. It's time to pay a visit to Herzen Museum. The professor and Luke decided to visit the Herzen Museum. Okay. Uh, well... Actually, quick, I, I know you wanted to talk about this later, Beth, but I also, like, just installed <laughs> PSX2 on my PC just now. Um, I mean, obviously, you've probably used emulators before. I know I just have to go get the, I have to figure out where the BIOS is at. Because they usually don't keep it on the same site. Um... I guess I don't... Well, I don't even know if I have any PS2 games that I could, like, test with it. Um... Okay, where... Yeah, I know. Can I... I heard all about you, Missy. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I know you've been asking around the town about that box. You just stick on why I want this thing read my p. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, because I, I know usually they can they can read them unless it wants you to just have like a actual um like CDI or like rip of it. Oh, uh, but I just and before you say anything, I don't care who your old man is. No one's above the law. In my eyes, anyone out chasing the Elysian box moves to the top of my list of suspects. No, you've got me all wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, sir, if you wouldn't mind. What is it, Barton? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something here? Oh, maybe. Um, I'm sure 
I'll look around, because if anything, I could get you... I could definitely find you a ROM. I know they're they're kind of hard to... to get, but... Oh, okay. Um, download, please. Yeah, download anyway. Except it just sucks because a lot of sites like took them out because a lot of places were getting in trouble. So you're all ears for the capture card for the PS2 though. Yeah, I know. Um, apparently somebody also showed me. Um, uh, oh yeah, that's another thing I I have um. I had a wire for it too. Like they have a few different ones. Um, sorry, I'm I'm just like I get really interested in this kind of stuff. Um, but they have like these kind of things. There's a few different ones. I, I'd honestly check out the reviews and stuff like that. Um, but they have made a few different cables that just like they have a cable for the Wii that converts it straight to HDMI so you could just plug it into your capture card. Um, they also have it for PS2. Um, the only issues I've ever had with those is that sometimes they'll kind of like, the audio will start kind of um, desyncing after like a few hours, but generally the easiest way to take care of that is just to, to kind of like basically refresh the capture card and everything's fine. Um, I've never used one of the ones for PS2 but I, I'm pretty sure it would work basically the same. Like, it, it, it's it's pretty much just a little box that converts the signal from the original signal to, to like an HDMI signal. Yeah, exactly. And that would make things a lot easier. And they're not they're not super expensive. Like all things considered, uh, it, it it's not a bad um, it's not a bad thing to try out. And it it'll definitely expand like your game library and all that without having to do extra stuff. Um, yes, about that, sir. The criminal we seek killed a man to obtain the Elysian box, so the villain should have it already. If the young lady was our culprit, she'd have no need to ask around about that box, uh, in my opinion, sir. Oh, is that so now, Barton? Hm. I don't ever recall asking you for your analysis of the situation. This costs as much as a second-hand PS2 you get. Yeah. Yeah, no problem, Beth. Of course. I'm, like, I'm always down to help, like... Especially when it comes to, like, game stuff and all that, because I know I had a lot of help when I figured out getting everything set up, you know, and making sure it actually worked. Which is why, like, I'm still really sad there's no way to really, like, stream from my DS other than having it, like, completely modded <laughs> in some way or another. But you know what? We make the best with uh, of what we can, you know? D -d 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 terribly sorry, sir. Please forgive my momentary lapse in judgment. Ah, I'll just be going now. Barton! Get back here this instant, you pilchard! Oh, he called him a pilchard. How could he? Ooh. Calling someone a Burke, which you've done rather often, is the same. Comes from a Berkeley hunt, which is a rhyming slang for another slur beginning with C. Oh! Oh, I get it. Now I can call people Burke, and they will have no idea what I'm talking about. Pretend it's me buying you a drink. I, I appreciate it, Beth. I'm always down to help out when necessary. Or if necessary. Hey, that's the girl we saw at the Dropstone Station. Oh, what was her name? Katie? No, that's not it. I believe you're thinking of Mr. Anderson's daughter, Katya. Yes, that's the one. I wonder what she's doing here. Hmm. I don't know, it really sounded like she was asking after the same box that everybody else was asking after, uh, Luke. If you had taken five seconds to listen with your tiny baby ears. Oh no, it's Stash and Scarfin, and he's not doing so hot. <laughs> now there's a couple of mugs I've seen before. Hey, I know you! 
And I know fake, because that's what brought you and me and that swanky tea set of yours together. Now that we're all reunited, I say we celebrate with a cup of tea. Bring me something nice, would you? You want us to make tea for you? That's right, whippersnapper, but nothing fancy. A cup of citrus classic will do the trick. So easy to make, even a baby could do it. A baby with a magic tea set, that is. Anywho, all you need, all you need is some oasis leaf, a little brisk berry, and a sprinkle of citronia seed. Yeah, citrus classic. Serve. Here you go, stash and scarf. And... Fantabulous! Yes, that is a word, probably. A smile spreads across Stash and Scarfin's face. He seems restored and cheerful. <laughs> Not a bad cup of tea you make, Shorty. Of course, you couldn't have pulled it off without my expert direction, so don't get cocky. You know, this town is filled with thirsty folks. You got the tea set, so the way I see it, it's your responsibility to help people. You manage to help everyone out with a tea break, good things will happen. This, I promise. Gosh, Professor, what do you think? How much good can we really do with just a cup of tea? Oh, a fair bit, Luke. A gentleman never underestimates the power of a hot cup of tea. Hmm, well, when you put it like that, I suppose it couldn't hurt to spread some happiness. Yeah. Never underestimate the tea. Okay, also, I totally forgot. We need to work on this hamster. This is true. Tea is good. Yeah. Okay, so, gosh, I'm trying to remember how I had this set up. When the hamster makes contact with this tiny light bulb, it flashes, causing your hamster to... Okay, I seem to remember... Yeah, okay, I remember how this is... Is he'll go... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, duh. Okay. Like this. Is he'll go for that, he'll go for that, then he'll run all the way to the side. Then we have him go up and over there. And... Yes, okay. I think this is correct. Actually, one of the things I could do is I could also do this. Let's do that. Got any snacks around here? No snacks for you! It's fitness time! Tea. Sick tea. Bored tea. Yeah. Wife left you tea. Yeah. That's like country music, basically. Except with beer and horses. Dun, dun. Look at him go! Ford F-150s? Probably. They do love their cars. Huzzah! I'm starting to look pretty good, huh? Yeah, you're looking great. I think he's what he's now chubby. The goal is 18, so we're gonna just exercise again. I'm not so good at moving and stuff. But he starts he starts to move faster the more like fit he gets. Look at him go! Da, 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 da. Hell yeah. Da, 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 da. Hey, suddenly I've got energy to spare. Yeah. Man, if only I could walk 18 steps and be like, Look at me now, guys! I'm so fit! Well, he's still chunky. He's gotta get to 24, so I need at least one more, um... I need one more item to be able to get him up to... His prime... Yeah, chunky but funky. Exactly. I just love these random little mini-games in here, too. It's very good. Oh yeah, the tea set. Uh, I need to make some tea. That's sour. That's mild. See, I don't remember something involving dream fluff. Um, I don't remember the recipes, so I'm gonna be tea recipes. Professor Layton. 
Uh, Oasis Berry. Oh. Um, Oasis Leaf. Brisk Berry times two. We're gonna make some tea. Delicious! I just love how sweet this tea is, Professor. Well, it's a bit too sweet for me, but I understand why so many children enjoy it. I think I could drink a whole pot of this stuff by myself. Just watch me. <laughs> You've got quite the sweet tooth, Luke. Just try not to drink it too fast. Yay! So we just made, um... Yeah, Citrus Classic. Then there's Oasis Berry, which is very sweet. Um... I can't make sugar smoke. I can't make that. Uh, I don't think I... Here, let's go back to brew. I have dream fluff. Um... I don't think I can make anything else right now. There's a there's actually a lot of ingredients, so. Chunky. Well, you know what? I actually like chunky peanut butter. I just never get it for some reason. I don't know why. I, I guess I just don't think about it. It's not like it's any more expensive than the regular stuff. Uh, Joy Hoof Smoky, Mild Spicy. I need to get my spicy. Sour, sweet. Yeah, okay. Well. Done. Add that bookmark. Thank you. At least I have two types of tea now. But you, you get more ingredients, like, randomly during puzzles. Kind of like how you get more camera stuff and hamster toys. Golly, you two sure... You two sure are running around a lot. Makes me tired just of watching you. <laughs> Why don't you rest a while with this puzzle I got here? Oh, wait, it's been a while. You know what? I just realized we hadn't done any puzzles like... Well, okay, we did the hotel puzzle. Flower bed fun. Oh, this. Here are four circular flower beds, each with a radius of 10 meters. The way they're arranged forms a space between them. Can you find the area in meters squared of the section colored red below? Ignore the width of the border around the flower beds when calculating your answer. Oh yeah. Oh God. Math time. Yeah, so the radius is 10 meters. I think the thing to look at here was the fact that it's like all of these are circular. Um, so something about it makes like a perfect something. Shit. <laughs> that probably doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, ignore the width of the border around the flower beds when calculating your answer. Yeah. But you're supposed to like draw a line or something. Something. I don't know if that would help. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, uh. God, there's something that makes this a lot easier. I don't know if divvying it up helps. Wow, that was not a straight line at all. Uh, that's... This is why I'm not allowed to draw things. That part's straight, at least. Or, or wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's... Mm, Jesus. Christ. Okay. We divide it into four sections like this. This should be more in the center, but let's not worry about that. Um, that's 10 meters. Because I know the circles themselves, like um, pi r squared, I think is the thing. Yeah, so the area of circles is fast more. It was easy, but think not needed yeah like a lot of these it it seems like they should have like one thing or the other going on or it's like you should know this but you really don't because i believe something about this being like the the invert something important about that let's look at a hint don't bother thinking about pi you don't need it to solve this one yeah thanks 
If you draw straight lines between the four center points of each of the flower beds, it makes it a square. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So like that? Is that... And if that's ten... <laughs> I'm like, what? Uh... Is the square... Yeah, between the centers, yeah, well... Yeah, if, oh, the, oh, 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 you're, okay. You know what? I'm not very good at things. Like that! A diamond! Even though a diamond is just square on its side. And that's technically, I guess, what we'd be... Wait, if that's ten... And this is... Oh, because it would be halfway... So wouldn't it just be 40? Maybe? I guess? Oh, because... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Because you divide the circle up into the different parts to fill in that. Okay. And then, yeah, so that would be... Since the radius is 10, then that would be 20. And then, yeah. 20 times 20... is 400 right is that too no no that might not be too big um yeah because 10 20 <laughs> oh yeah <clears throat> zero four <clears throat> God, <laughs> this is a bit. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay, Jesus, my mind. We did it. Puzzle unsolved. That just seems very large, but I guess yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. It did it the opposite way. I did it the way where I was like, all oh, the bits of the circle, but that's just <laughs> it's a square. Okay. Nice job. The red section has an area of 400 square meters. If you quarter the space between the flower beds and fit the pieces t to the circle as shown in the diagram on the right, you can turn the circle into a square. That probably makes more sense than what I was doing, but let's not worry about that. Once you do, the sides of the square will have the same length as the diameter of a single flower bed, 20 meters. Square this number to get the area, and that is your answer. Okay. Oh, that... That took way more work than it should have. Golly, you ran through that puzzle so fast it made my head spin. You're just one of those people who does everything, huh? <laughs> I get tired just thinking about it. Oh, there's my pepper cherry. Dang, I immediately got new tea ingredients. Okay, uh, let's pull up that list again. Aha! Double spice. Well done. One pot of tea coming right up. The house you're in is like a hundred meters squared. Those, yeah, those are huge. Holy crap. Well, actually, oh yeah, you're. I know you have stairs. Well, you said the scare. The stairs are also like scary, weird stairs. But you technically just live in one floor, right? Like all of the rooms are connected via, like, that hallway and stuff. I'm trying to remember, because I know you, you've kind of given a tour of it, or you've had pictures, and I'm like... Downstairs is boiler in front door. Okay. Ugh. Spicy! My whole mouth is tingly now! Yes, there's quite a healthy dose of pepper cherry in there, <laughs> no doubt about it. I kind of like it. It makes me feel very chirpy. Next time I'm feeling down, I know what to reach for. Yes, a good cup of cherry boost can be quite nice every once in a while. You know, che I guess cherry and... Well, I don't know. Does cherry and spicy go together? I guess it does. Okay, we're still trying to... Wait. I don't have that. Okay. 
Brisk Berry. Um, Dream Fluff. And Pepper Cherry. Brew! My, what a peculiar blend this is. Subtle and spicy all at once. And sweet as the end, at the end as well. I especially like how the initial heat helps to balance out the sweetness that comes later. I never imagined spicy and sweet could work together so well. Yeah, well. Red, have your mind blown. Okay, I think that's all of the uh, things I can make right now. Yeah, okay. Well, that's still four different teas. That's not too bad. Or three. I, I can count sometimes. Oh, hint coin. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, another hint coin. I thought the last one was like on the ground somewhere. But yeah, most places I've. I, man, I don't think I've lived in too many like. No, no! Don't go to. No! Don't go to the title screen! Whoopsie, sorry! Like, I've lived in loft apartments where I lived upstairs, but. Most stuff around here in Texas is like single floor. Other than like, you know, houses and. Well. Okay, and so in apartment complexes usually don't get taller than maybe like three stories unless you're like in the big city or something, but but most like regular places they Wait, why is Barton there? Because Barton is a cool Barton's with Chelmy. You missed it. Chelmy's here. Uh sir, a minute please. Oh, hello there. You're the fellow who's always with Inspector Chelmy, yes? Mm, the name's Barton, sir. I'm a constable serving under Inspector Chelmy, sir. I feel obliged to let you know you may want to reconsider going up this way with the boy. Yeah. Why? What's up ahead? And things best left unknown till you're older, lad. My advice is to do an about face and leave the area. I don't think he'll budge on this, Luke. We'll have to find another path leading up that way. You might notice that uh, going that way leads to the red light district, which is why Barton was like, oh, you can't go over there, even though later you can freely explore that area. So the point of that exchange, I don't know. But Barton was doing his best to keep the boy pure. Professor, I've just seen Inspector Chelmy over there. No need for alarm, Luke. He's likely just gathering information about Dr. Schrader's case. It seems that he's finally worked out the key to solving what lies here in full sense. <laughs> Maybe the inspectors got almost got a grip on the situation for once. Wow, Luke. Rude. So let me confirm. This here is the man you witnessed asking around about the Elysian box? No doubt about it. Yep, the man in the photograph is the one. I'd remember that face anywhere. Hmm, well, that seals the deal. Just as I suspected, my instincts are never wrong. Come along now, Barton. We're moving on. Hmm? Oh, yes, sir. Right behind you, sir. Uh... Time for a puzzle. Ah, sorry, sir, but we can't let you in like that. Eh, we got a dress code, see? Now, if you'd be so kind as to hand me your hat. Very well, you're saying that we can enter if I give you this hat. Oh yeah, fucking... Leighton, turn it around. Hat etiquette. Since Felix has requested that you hand over a hat, can you find another hat buried in the pattern below? The hat you're looking for will be the same shape and size as the black one shown below but may not be facing the same direction as the example hat. Use the stylus to outline your answer and touch submit. Okay, I gotta find a hat. Hidden in the puzzle. It's the same shape and size as this one. I found it, guys! It's gotta be... Yeah, this is... Definitely the same. Definitely the same. Got it. <laughs> Here we go. 
Oh wait, we use the stylus to- Oh, we actually have to outline it here and then submit. Oh no, I forgot it's one of these. Restart. <laughs> oh no. Okay, uh... Hat. Hat. Uh, oh. No. Hat. But it may not be upright. I keep looking at, like, the little lines to try to figure out... Um... Uh, that's not right. I feel like there's only, like, one place. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Wait. No. Yeah, wait! Shit. Uh, no, because that's longer. Shit. I was like... Aha, it's this. Wait. No, that is right. Okay, never mind. I think I found it. <sighs> I gotta keep restarting. Also, optical illusions. I think that's our hat. Submit! And now to test my theory. Okay, that was the hat. <laughs> okay, I was just like, uh. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. Sneaky! Good job spotting that hidden hat. Now the professor has a hat to give to Felix. Ha 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 ha! Very funny, professor. That's not what Felix meant. There we are! As requested, I have provided you with a hat. Huh? Um, professor, I don't think that's quite what he meant. Yeah, even Luke's like, bro, don't push it. Come on. Be that as it may, I'm not taking this hat off. Let's go, Luke. But I was really looking forward to just dropping in for a snack. It takes a very special occasion for this hat to come off. That's all I have to say on the matter. Well, we already discussed that he probably doesn't take it off during coitus, as it were. So I don't know what's more special than that. I guess maybe getting married or something like that. So, no, well, I don't know. What if he's just completely bald under that hat? I think this is too deep for me. Yay, I got the pet house. Hat etiquette. Uh, I don't think we can quite... Layton forever shy that he's bald like Mr. Burns. Oh no, where he's got like just the three. Oh, I think that would actually ruin my image of Layton. I mean, I, bald people, or bald ding people can be cool too, but, you know. 21, 22, 23, 20. Okay, I think, I think I can, I might actually be able to do it. Wait, yeah. Let's see. Got any snacks around here? Don't hold out on me. Wait, is that house too close? Oh no, okay, we're good. Da -da 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 -da. Look how fast he is! Shit, actually, I don't know if this is gonna be 24 or if this is gonna be 23. I seem to remember having some problems getting him to maximum. Wait, wait, wait! We did it! We did it, boys! Hell yeah. He's sporty! Now, yeah, the final goal is, uh... Oh, wait, I'm not done yet. He's got to get to 30. Okay, I need more stuff. <laughs> I need more stuff. But I think I get another block later on. Because, basically, once you get him to his maximum fitness level, um... What is that? This sign is a masterwork of clarity. It's a giant camera. Uh, but once you um, get him to maximum fitness levels, he helps you find hit coins by very loudly being like, there's one over here. And then he'll like come out and point at it because the boy can talk to animals. Hello, hint coin. I want to go to the lobster house. Oh, man, I haven't had lobster in a while actually. 
Have a look at these photos of the town, Luke. Whoever took them has a fine eye for detail. But if you look closely, you can see that the pictures aren't quite in chronological order. Do you think you can work out which, the order in which the picture should be displayed? I mean, I guess, maybe. Scrambled photos. Four photographs decorate the wall of Joseph's photo studio. Each photo depicts the same area and was taken at the exact same time of day. However, each photo was taken at different points in time, and if you look carefully, you can work out the order in which these pictures were taken. Enter your answer using the letters attached to each picture, starting with the earliest, like so. A, B, C, D. Okay. So, it's like a spot the difference, except you, it's a chronological thing. Okay, well, first things first that I notice, this building does not show up in these two, so these are, these two are earlier. This also has a broken window, which is fixed in here. So I figure, okay, so this is the last one. This is probably the second to last. Oh, there's a lamp here. That lamp, okay, so I think it's C, D, B, A. Let's try that. C, D, that's not a, D, D, okay. B, B, A. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it really likes the O's. Let's see this yes! Piece of cake. Good eye. The correct order is CDBA. In C, the street light has yet to be installed, but in D, the light has been built. In B, there's a new building in the background and the restaurant's window is broken. Finally, in A, the broken window seen in B has been patched up, and some of the lights in the restaurant's sign have burned out. Wait, have they? Did they burn? They look the same to me. Oh, wait. Four is A. Sorry. I was like, Bam. What's more, the door on of the photo studio has been painted a different color. Oh, it is, I didn't even notice the different colored door. Man. Look at us. We're so good at the games. There we are. If these photos are any indication, Full Sense has quite a rich and lengthy history. Core, with enough of these pictures, I bet you can see exactly how the town developed. Hmm. You bring up an interesting point, Luke, but if these photos are that old, why do they look so new? Now that you mention it, I suppose they do look quite new. Photographs this old normally show some signs of deterioration. I wonder what method the studio uses to keep these photos so immaculate. Cogfield Park. Scrambled photos. Excuse me, sir. How do you keep your stuff so cool? There's all sorts of people. Yeah, okay. I just want these coins. I wonder what they use this huge camera for. I don't know, bro. Showcase is full of very old cameras. Hello? My, these photos look stunningly new for their age. How do you manage that? I'm flattered, but really, I take no special measures in that regard. Wow. Solved the mystery. Right there. Thank you, sir. Okay, well, I think we can leave here for now. Oh yeah, speaking of which, let's look at this new camera bit we got. It's large. Okay, oh, well, that's... Hmm. That's a lot of things. Oh, wait, this one also has... Okay. What if... Uh... Um... Oh, I just realized this is in a... Not good place. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What if that goes there, actually? Okay, that could that could work. 
And what if that goes there? Uh, but that battery... Ah, oh, shit. Because that definitely goes right there, but uh, it's hard to tell what angle it's supposed to go there. Wait, oh, wait, 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 what if, what if... It actually goes there. And this, ah ha 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 ha, goes there. And then this could go there, maybe? Oh, shit. Mm, that doesn't seem like that fits there, though. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of pieces just hanging out in areas. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that could go there. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Oh. Wait, did I do this? Did I stumble upon the solution? I did! I did it! I did it! Congratulations, we have a camera. Thanks. You have assembled the camera. Now you can take photos. Use the camera to find secrets hidden around the game's locations. While walking in certain areas, a camera icon will appear on the screen. When it does, touch the icon to snap a photo of that area. View an album containing all your photos by touching the camera icon in the professor's trunk. While viewing the album, touch any of your photos to play a Spot the Difference minigame. Your goal is to spot the differences between the touch screen and the photo and the real photo. The actual location is shown on the top screen. Touch any suspicious locations to place a circle on them and then touch here to submit your answer. If you answer correctly, the area you selected will be marked with an icon. Each photo has three elements that are slightly different from those of actual location. When you find all three in a single location, visit the area where you took the photo. Touch the part that's indicated in the photo. Who knows what you might find? A dead body? Riches beyond compare? Your father who went to go get cigarettes from the corner store when you were 10? Actually, you probably won't find that in there. Sorry. Um. Oh, yeah, this is... I forgot, Diaper Dog is over here. Here you go, it's Diaper Dog. He doesn't appear to be in a very good mood, Luke. Let me see if I can find out what the problem is. Uh, hey there, fellow. Ah! Ah, good heavens, Luke, are you hurt? I don't think he's in the mood for conversation right now. Indeed. Let's find another way through town. Passing through here seems rather difficult. Precious doesn't want any of our puzzle solving bullshit right now. It's not hard to walk down here if you're careful. Okay, this way. This must be the museum. The gate's shut tight. It must be closed. I was hoping we'd find some useful information inside, but there's no sense in standing around waiting. For the time being, let's continue our investigation elsewhere. The professor and Luke decide to search the town for more information. Okay. Hint coin, which I guess are different from clues, but we'll not worry about that. Hint coin. More hint coin. Aha! And 
now <laughs> to the forbidden district. Okay. Well. Hmm? Oh, Mr. Beluga, it's been ages. I haven't seen you in a in donkeys. I Zunder, please help me. Zunder, what is this? I could extend I could understand if she said in a donkey's age. But she just said in donkeys. Why? What's happening? Did you find that thing in the end? Uh, uh, you know, I probably shouldn't have said it that way. But yeah, did you find the thing in the end? I wish I told Sam to track it down, but that boy is about as useful as chocolate as a chocolate frying pan. Wow, that sounds delicious. But also, what? <laughs> what are these things? Oh, don't fret like that, love. You'll get wrinkles in that distinguished brow of yours. Hey up then, Mr. Bead. Duck. What is happening? That one is really moon. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you calling him a duck? Oh my god, I need to play more games with freaking uh, European localization. <laughs> because I wanted to find out more about these weird ass things. I mean, granted, we have some weird things in, like, American English, too. How about coming inside for a catch-up? Professor, did you see that? Mr. Beluga went into that cabaret. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Leighton decides to go to the cabaret with a child. Sorry, I need to... Excuse me, I'll touch you in a second, lady. First, I need to find hit coins. That sign is the most glamorous in town. It also has a giant bow on it. Aha! Okay, let's go talk to the lady. Oh, hello, love. You must be that tall, dark, and handsome stranger my horoscope's been promising. You're coming to see the show, aren't you, ducky? <laughs> I apologize, madam, but we're in the middle of... Hey, you aren't going all shy on me, are you? I can see you blushing under that big hat. Oh, and who's your little friend there? He's a right strapping lad, isn't he? Aren't you, love? Me? Uh, 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 I don't know how to deal with women. Sorry to change the subject, but I couldn't help but notice Mr. Beluga entered your cabaret. Oh, one of Mr. B's friends, are you? Uh, something like that, yes. Tell me, does Mr. Beluga visit here often? Well, you could certainly call him a patron of the arts, love. But I'm not one to go chatting about the customers with just any old charmer who walks past. Oh, but you are a handsome devil, aren't you? Charming, dapper, and such a gentleman. Show me you've got some brains behind that pretty face, and I might get a bit indiscreet. Dang. Next time I like I, I I meet up with a woman of the night, I'm gonna be like, hey, so uh, if I do a puzzle for you, is there anything that you can do for me? And she'll probably just leave. Actually, I don't even know exactly where you find those ladies. Anyway, jeweled necklaces. Oh, this one. Oh no. Oh, I have this old necklace that's not really to my taste anymore. I decided to sell it, but. When I was getting it valued the other day, I realized something strange. Each stone is worth a different amount, but there's a way for me to break the net up or break the necklace up into three smaller ones that are all worth the same total. Can you work out where to make the cuts? Okay, um Got to figure out let's see I think it was like 2100 or something like that. It's math. There's a lot of math. Because, yeah, if I do this, then that's already like freaking like 2800. Oh, wait. Actually, wait, no. That's. That's 2300, and this is. 1100, 1900. 2400 2500 I guess we should total them out and then divide it by three that might be the like best thing to do okay 
Calculator, I choose you. Okay, um... 900 plus 1200 plus 100 plus 500 plus 800 plus 1100 plus 200 plus 400 Okay, 7800 divided by 3 2600 is the number that we're going for. Okay. So, in that case, this is too much. So, let's say... Actually, wait, then I could just do this. That would be 2600. Oh, dang. Look at me. I'm so smart. Wait, am I? Yeah, that is 2600. Okay, sorry. Uh, 1200, 1300, 1800. Oh. I, I'm sorry. Take that line away. 1100. Brain. Okay, 1300, 1700. Okay. Submit. And now to test my theory. Fuck! Shit. Well, what? I suppose that's one possibility. But it's 20. Could. It should be 2600. Oh boy. Okay, well. But yeah, she just said donkeys, and that's why I was like, I feel like there's some context left out of there. But I guess if it's common enough, then they don't really feel the need to say the full thing. Okay, I'm... Yeah, it's 2600, so if I do that... Maybe I missed a line somewhere. Yeah. 1200, 1300, 1800, 2600. 900, 1300, 1500. Yeah, no, that's right. What the? Did I fuck up somewhere? 2600. 2600. Very small. Yeah. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay, I I swear that I did that before, but maybe I was off by one. Unsolved. We did it. That's right. Each strand of gems is worth 2,600 pounds. Not a bad wedge. Man, I wish I had a necklace worth that much that I could sell for that much money. Also, hi, Seer. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Ooh, brains and beauty. I hope you don't solve puzzles for all the girls. Of course not. Only for you, baby. I mean, hi, Seer. How's it going? Wow, what? I don't solve puzzles for anybody. No, it, it's not true. I mean, I, I solve them for them, but it's not romantic solving. It's just regular solving. Yeah, well... It's because he can't help it. Leighton loves puzzles so much. He's not, what, whatever. He just, he wants to know all the secrets of the world. Okay. He can't be having much luck because he's on a, he's had a right cob on whatever what I've seen him. Jesus, I have to get used to this lingo. I have to. I have to take those YouTube tutorials on how to be British. Oh no, she's sweating. Are you quite all right, madame? You look a bit fatigued. Oh, I was in a world of my own there, love. Sorry, pet, I'm just a bit tired and thirsty. I mean, I could tell that already. It's right dead in there and all, and I think I need a nice sit down is what I need. A uh, nice sit down is what I need. Your job must be very taxing. Make sure to allow some time in your schedule for recuperation. Oh, don't go worrying about me, love. You'll get wrinkles. You're right, though. I do need to schedule some Vera time. If you'd like, I think we could prepare you a nice cup of tea. How does that sound? Oh, you're a man after my own heart. I'm gasping for a cuppa. I need a lift after the day I've had. 
Could you make me something refreshing? Oh, and make sure you sweeten it up right... Uh, uh, sweeten it right up and all, sugar lump. I think we might be able to make something that fits the bill. Let's see. It's like, oh, you need to relax? That reminds me of a puzzle. Okay, um... Refreshing sweetness is a secret. Spicy cake. Refreshing and sweet. It's refreshing and sweet, just like you. Serve it up! I hope she likes it. Absolutely delightful. A smile spreads across Vera's face. She seems restored and in high spirits. Yeah, all of those phrases she used are really common. Yeah, oh man. Also, how are you doing tonight, Seer, by the way? Oh, now that is divine. I do like a man who knows his way around a teapot. <laughs> There's lots of new faces passing through the town these days, but yours is the best of the lot, love. In fact, just a little while ago, an older gentleman came to town with a box all studded with gems. Look-wise, he didn't hold a candle to you, of course, but he had a touch of class, I'd say. Now, if you two ever get tired of running around, stop in any time and say hi, you hear? <laughs> You made that dip? Oh yeah? How did it turn out? Okay. Well, well, now we're back here. Really good? Nice! Oh yeah, I don't think there's any puzzles I missed. Say, there's that shack again. Granny Riddleton Shack. Hmm. We overlook puzzles along the course of our journey. We know where we can go, don't we, Luke? Yeah, well, in here, but I don't think I've missed any. Yeah, okay. Look at me. I'm a puzzle... Puzzle and fool. You added a bit more garlic powder? I mean, you you can't really go wrong with more garlic. Well, I, I mean, I guess you could, but... For the most part, garlic. Oh, it's time! You've taken a photo of this location. Something about it seems strange. Use the camera minigame in the trunk to examine the photos you've taken. Because I fixed the camera, so now it's all one chunk. Tomorrow's the boy's first day back. Oh no! Oh yeah, so he's got to make sure he's all, like, prepped to go, huh? <laughs> Granny R's. Okay. First difference. Here! Just leave it to me! Yay! The eye was missing. You found the first difference in this photo. Okay, um... Oh! The next difference is... The chimney is different. Man, I'm actually pretty good at find the difference photos. Although they have, like, these Japanese, like, children's, uh, books that have, like, find the difference photos. And some of those differences are, like, so subtle, I'm just like, what is happening? Okay, now... Hmm. This one might be a little harder... Oh, wait, wait, wait! I... wait. I think it's this tree branch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that tree branch. Dun, 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 dun. And now to test my theory. Haha! -ha! And there we have it. You found all the differences in this photo and found a hidden puzzle in this location. You got that cable in four transparent con four impulse control. Uh, it's fine. But no, that's awesome. I mean, shit, I. It's good to have extra controllers, because we all know that not all of the controllers were very good at longevity. Uh, and it's always good to have extras. But no, that's awesome! And I, I saw that you, you said something in the Discord about, about doing uh, Oxygen Not Included. Hopefully that stuff gets to you quickly. I mean, I'm not... I, I, don't, I don't know if you had to kind of go to... Um, Basically, I guess your your region of um, Amazon probably and plug that in. But thankfully, they tend to sell those things pretty universally. 
The ones, oh yeah, the ones I have are super old too. And you know what I noticed? I don't know if anybody else ever gets this. Um, let me go grab my controller. Actually, I don't know if it's my PS2 controllers. It might be my PS3 controllers. I know they use about the same kind of stuff, but like for whatever reason, like the thumbsticks will get kind of like gross, like greasy if you leave them forever. And I don't know if that's just like the oils from your fingers just like coming back out of them after a while. It's really nasty. And I'm like, I hope I'm not the only one because I mean, I wash my hands and stuff. I'm fairly hygienic. And I try to wipe down my controllers like every once in a while at least. I spy a hidden puzzle. But yeah, it might be the PS3 ones just because of like something about the rubber on the thumb grips. Like it never happens on PS4. So yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah, it is gross. And I'm just like, and I'm like, why did this happen? I just cleaned this. I don't know. The messy mole. Oh, on the edge of a forest lives a particularly messy mole. His burrow is so clogged with rubbish that he finally has to tidy up. However, being lazy, he decides to clean up his place while doing the least amount of work possible. In order to pick up all the rubbish in his burrow without passing through any uh, one hole twice, or any one tunnel twice, which of the holes A to G should the mole start cleaning? While moving through any tunnel twice is forbidden, he can pass through any junctions between tunnels as often as he wants. Oh man, I seem to remember this being like a pain in the butt. So basically what it means is he can't go through more than one, um, oops. Like he can't pass through here twice, but if there's a junction here, he can, he could pass and then he could take that junction again. As long as he's not actually um, passing through the same place twice. Oh, hi. Clear. So we basically have to figure out which hole would allow him to clean everything. Connection was weird. Yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah, I know all of these hidden puzzles are kind of they're they're like on the higher end of things. So sometimes it makes it a little weird. Let's see. Hmm, I feel like this wouldn't work. Sometimes the connection just gets weird. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that reminds me though. I should probably, God, I, I, I know I have like alcohol. Like, well, I have drinking alcohol, but I mean like, like alcohol for like wounds and stuff. But that, that stuff is apparently very good for like cleaning controllers and things since, you know, it dries very quickly. Um, so I really should just like get that and like do a once over of all my controllers. Let's see. I feel like. Let's see, C, D. I think D is bad just because it's in too many, yeah, junction areas. There's no way to do that. F also not good. I think the only one it can be is um, C. So I'm gonna go with C. This should do the trick. Oh, okay. I was like, I was only half guessing there. Puzzle unsolved. Good job. Our friend the lazy mole should start his cleaning from hole C. Starting his cleanup effort from any other hole will cause him to go through at least one tunnel twice before his job is finished. Yeah, because he goes like, mur, 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 mur. okay. Kind of puzzles always kind of like screw with me too, just because I'm like trying to visualize all of that movement can be. Painful. Woo, that was a lot of work. Yay, but we did it. Good job, Luke. Uh, gather clues around town. 
Oops, I just came from there. Sorry, everyone. Oh, somebody new. Hello, little girl. Hey, what's with the long face? It's not very grown up of you to sulk like that. Honestly, I can't stand to see you looking like that. So here's a little puzzle my friend told me. Wow, I'm not sulking. I am Professor Herschel Layton, and I do not sulk. Anyway, um, how old am I? Oh no, it's another one. No! The difference between mom's age and dad's age is the same as my age. Oh, and my big sister's twice my age, which happens to be one third my mom's age. And one more thing, in five years, I'll be my sister's age. How old am I? That is so much information. Oh, I, uh, okay. The difference between mom's age and dad's age is the same as I age. Oh, and my big sister's twice my age, which happens to be, yeah. Okay. Let's say you're five. If you're five and your sister's 10, in five years. Your sister's twice your age, yeah. Okay, you're five. Input answer. D why the hell did you give me a million things? Submit. And now to test my theory. Bam! It's the only one that works. <laughs> we have it. Yeah, I know. It's it's one of those. And this one is a three. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, man. Hey, not bad. Thanks. The girl's father is 35 and the mother's 30. I d how right? I don't care about them. Wh why? How did we know that they were 30 and 35? Did they tell us that? I but. What? Did it say that at some point? I didn't pay attention. <laughs> Meaning the difference in their ages is the same as their girl's age, as she said. Yeah, I didn't know that. As for her big sister, she's 10. That's twice the girl's age and a third of her mother's. Oh, I didn't even think about that. In five years, the girl will be 10, which is her sister's age now. Kids these days grow up so quickly. You know, I... Feel like I went about that all wrong, but I got the answer, so I'm happy, I guess. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you. I think it's just I've done so many of these age puzzles now. I'm like, okay, just run through the possibilities. Like, the first game had like four of them, I swear. Hey, pretty good, Smarty Pants. So good, in fact, I think you deserve a reward. Uh, what kind of reward? The best kind of story. Okay, here goes. See, a long time ago, there was another family in town as rich as the Herzens, but one of the younger daughters got her heart broken by some boy and decided to leave town. It could just be a story somebody made up, but if it's real, that boy must have been a total loser. Wow, this five-year-old is incredibly well-versed. <laughs> okay, uh, oh. How about you, lady? Volsens used to be home to many families of noble birth. Then Duke Herzen discovered a vast gold deposit on the outskirts of town, which changed everything. Volsens developed rapidly, but word of the gold brought in all sorts of unsavory types. It's such an awful shame. This used to be such an enchanting town. Wow. Fucking rich people bemoaning the fact that other people want to live places. Cool. What is this? America? <laughs> Gentrification? Uh, hello? Welcome to Full Sense, where you can dream big and make those dreams a reality. Want to get stinking rich? In Full Sense, making a huge fortune is child's play. Let me guess, you two came here to get your hands on some of that Herzen money, am I right? Uh, what Herzen money? You came all the way here and you don't know about the Herzen fortune? Heh, <laughs> that's <laughs> rich, pal. Uh, you get it? Because we we're talking about money and... Anyway. Oh, here's the story. A long time ago, the big cheese here in full sense, Duke Herzen, found the mother of all gold deposits. There was so much gold you couldn't spend it in a lifetime. 
I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like it would be pretty easy to spend all your money now. Then, not too long ago, the old man croaked. Now his money sits abandoned in his castle. How's that for an interesting story? Uh, quite. However, we're not here for the treasure. Rather, we seek an item known as the Elysian Box. You may also have heard it referred to as Pandora's Box. Pandora's Box? <laughs> Isn't that a novel? I can't really help you, to be honest. I only like spreading rumors. Oh, he's sweaty, but I don't want to give him any tea. Uh, Professor, this train still stopped at the station, but there's not a soul in sight. Then it seems we have no choice but to remain in town. All the more reason to proceed with our investigation of the area. I suppose so. Okay, let's keep looking. We will. I don't think I even have the tea that will satisfy that man. Everybody's sweaty. Oh, puzzle. Hello, sirs. May I inquire as to how your search is going? You must be tired from walking so much. May I suggest a light puzzle to refresh the body and mine? Tricky digits. Oh, come on. Two cards sit on a table. Each has a different single digit number written on it. When set side by side, they form a two digit number. Then by flipping their order, you can make another two digit number. Adding the total from these two two-digit numbers gives you one of the totals shown below. Which one is it? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. Think. Okay. So basically, okay, so these numbers are the same. So you take these two and these two. So it's a single digit number and then you flip their order. Okay. So basically these two numbers are the same. These two are the same. We're just adding them together to make a something. Oh boy. Um... Hmm. I feel like it would be a bigger number, but it could also be a smaller number. And it can't, okay, 44 is already out because they can't be the same um, number. They have to be two different numbers. So 44 is out. Let's see, if it was 12 plus 21, that would be 30 something. That doesn't work. So it can't be one or two. One or two. X. Let's try 34. 34 plus 43 would be 77, which wasn't on, isn't on here. So three and four may be out. Well, may, I guess I could combine them. Ah, oh God, I'm making, okay. 44 is definitely not. What if it was like... Think, I don't think 80 would work either. I can't think of any way that that... Um, unless it was like 40... No, like 34. No, 64 and 46. Now that would be 90 then. No, that... Uh, yeah, actually, no. That'd be 100. 64. 46. That'd be 110. I... Sorry, everyone. I'm brain. Um, I don't know, like going through the possibilities. Can't be 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 and 51 would be 66. Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess the easiest way to do it is actually to go through and just see like how you could get anything close to something. So I think 80 wouldn't work. I don't think you could get... I don't think you can get that at all. 68. 24 and 42 would get you 66. 23 and... Oh, okay. Or 25. I think you can get 68 either. Okay, let's see if we can get 96. Um... It's 36 and 63 would get you 99. I don't think you can do that. Ah, uh, 101. What two-digit numbers would add up to 101? Eighty-three? Eighty-three and thirty-eight. Oh, no, that would be way too big. Uh, seventy-three? No, seventy-three. You'd make thirty-seven, that'd be one-ten. Sixty-three? Sixty-four? I, I think I already talked about sixty-four. Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh, I, uh, this is really just, god damn, what the fuck? What would I have to put together to get 131? Um, wait, what's 38 plus 83? I should probably be using the calculator. Wait, where's the calculator? It's 121. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Ah ha ha! Man, this is rough, guys. Let's see. 101. It reminds you of a puzzle. I know. Thanks. Wait, maybe I did fuck up. You know what? I'm a dumbass. I why did I say 44 doesn't work? Okay. I actually looked it up just now because I was like, man, it's taking for but basically I I thought 44 wouldn't work. It's actually incredibly simple. 44 is the only one um I think that'll work, actually. Because I just thought of it, because 13 plus 31 is 44. Yeah, no, 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 I was thinking because I thought 22. I was like, oh no, we can't do that because that's the same thing. And then yeah, 13 plus 30. So I got in a loop of thinking that it would not possibly work. But yeah, apparently if you do like... 12, 13, 14, 15, it always ends up in whatever. So like 11 would be 22. 12 would be 33. 13 would be 44. 14 would be 55. All those. Okay. I'm just, I'm sorry, everybody. You just had to watch me like fucking rack my brain for like 10 minutes. On a puzzle that's actually not very hard. <laughs> oh, God. Well, you know what? I guess it depends. Puzzles are different. Like, there are some puzzles I will speed through. Like, the chess puzzles, I did... I don't know why I'm so good at those. And then there's puzzles like these where I'm like, I don't know if went, what. Good job. 12 plus 21 equals 33. 35 plus 53 equals 88. 
As you can see, the sum of two two digit numbers with an in, with inverted digits is always a n multiple of 11. Of the six options presented, the only multiple of 11 is 44. Yeah, okay, so that, thanks. Frick, <laughs> that hurt my brain. Not that it's especially hard to do that, but. Spot on, sirs. I can't imagine how exhausted you must be from your search. Full sense is rather sprawling. When you're ready to retire for the night, your rooms will be warmed and waiting for you. Thanks. That really relaxed me, sir. Now I'm even more on edge because that puzzle was making me think too hard. Freaking. Oh, what does this child want? I love sweet stuff, but there's not much of it here in full sense. Do you think you can help me? Hmm, how to satisfy a sweet tooth? I know. Why don't we make you a cup of tea? Capital idea, Luke. Tea? Gosh, I was hoping for sugar-coated choco co cookie cupcakes. That's so much. But I suppose tea could be tasty. Just make sure it's extra sweet, okay? Just like me. <laughs> Take my sweet berries, child. Now that's a tasty cup of tea. Joni grins widely. She seems restored and in high spirits. Hmm, you know, that wasn't half bad at all. Actually, it was pretty tasty. Thanks a million. That's the first sweet thing I've had since Mom made me give up cola. She says it rots your teeth. Well, I mean, just practice good dental hygiene and you'll be good to go. Uh... Oh, he has a puzzle for me. Oh my, now this is just a mess. What's the matter, sir? I had a set of cards that were arranged in a very specific way. Unfortunately, I seem to be all thumbs today and I dropped them while dusting them. What? Why would you dust cards? They've, they're so light. Until I can put the cards back in their proper order, there's no way I'll be able to sell them. This looks like a job for me. I'll have those cards back in order before you know it. Numbered cards. Dun, 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 dun. Cards labeled one to six are arranged in order as shown below. Rearrange them so that they satisfy the following conditions. The sum of the numbers on the top row must be one less than the sum of the numbers on the bottom row. The two cards in the right top er, in the right column must add up to five. The five card must be to the immediate left of the four card. The one card must be placed in the left column. Column row, okay. Um. Bam. Wait, five card is immediately left with four card. The one card must be placed in the left column. Whoops. Uh, oh, wait. Row column, right? R um, yeah. Five, four, three. So that's 12. And that's way less. Must be one less. Frick. <gasps> but what if... I swapped that! But da 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 Oh wait, yeah, okay. Um, so... 11? 10? <gasps> Guys, I think I did it. Wait, it must be one less than the numbers. Fuck! <laughs> this is 11 and that's... 10. That's not right. Frick, it needs to be the other way around. Uh, down. Oh, wait. Here it goes. <laughs> I was like, I can't, I can't do this. And it turned out I could do that if I just swapped the rows. Good job. This is one of those puzzles where the answer becomes clear as long as you remember to follow the conditions you've been given. Thanks, game. See, I did much better on that than the previous puzzle. Ta-da! There we go! Oh, splendid work, young man! You've got quite a way with puzzles for a boy your age! Ah, thank you! 
You got a new hamster toy. Use this jack in the box to get your haps hamster into shape. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I might actually be able to get him into maximum hamster shapage. Are you guys ready for this? So it makes him run back in the opposite direction. So what I could do... Ignore in favor of an apple if there's one nearby. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, um... Okay, I think I figured it out. Let's see. Got any snacks around here? Don't hold out on me. Let's see if we can get him to the final fitness level. Look how fast he runs, though. He's so sporty. Now that's what I call a sporty hamster. Dun, 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 dun. reached his goal with 30 steps. Oh yeah. Yeah, he is fit and sassy. Hammy will now stiff out hit coins for you. Hit coins for you. Never miss another coin. Sorry, I can't talk. Yay! Luke and Hammy are now best friends. The animal lover's house has been added to Layton's challenges. Those are extra like super hard puzzles. Look at him. He's so happy. He's skinny. Actually, wouldn't I don't know. I mean, I think sporty seems like a nicer thing to say to somebody than just skinny. Not that skinny in itself is, like, derogatory, but a lot of times when people call other people skinny, they say it with, like, a very not happy tone. Mostly because they're jealous, but people are jealous of a lot of aspects of people's lives. Okay, anyway. Oh, hint coin. Yeah, let's see. Let's leave. Because I don't know if there's any that I missed outside. How about in here? Because he'll just kind of randomly show up and he'll be like, Oh! Oh! Over here! And then he'll show you where a hint coin's at. Let's see if we can get him to do that. Well, for now, let's go over here, I guess. Let me talk to her. So there's there's some other place that I haven't been to yet. I think I've... Oh, wait. That's where I wanted to go. Okay, I need to go up. So I think, yeah, I can take that path. Oh yeah, you have a puzzle though. Greetings, strangers. Let me guess, you come here seeking fame, er, seeking, seeking fame and fortune. Uh, actually, we're searching for an item called the Elysian Box. Does that name sound familiar? Wow, now that's a fantastic name. Here's a puzzle for sharing that great name with me. That didn't answer anything. Three couples. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. The, a yellowed photograph shows three couples. In the photo, no one man is standing directly above his spouse. Of the three women present, two are sisters and are sitting next to each other. The elder sister's husband is the man without a mustache. Everyone in the picture is wearing a hat except the husband of the younger sister. The woman unrelated to the other two is sitting in front of the younger sister's husband. So, can you find the man in this lot who is married to neither sister? 
Choose from A, B, or C. Okay, so the sisters are sitting next to each other. These two are the sisters. Because as it says, the woman unrelated to the other two is sitting in front of the younger sister's husband. And the younger sister's husband is the one without a hat. So then the sisters are there. Oh, God. Sorry. I've been sitting down for a while, so I just stretched my legs a little. Yeah. Yeah, and no man is standing directly above his spouse, which would make sense because, yeah. And those are the two sisters. She's the unrelated lady. And the elder sister's husband is the man without the mustache, which means that that's the... The answer is hogwash. This is the elder sister because... No man is standing directly above his spouse. And that's, so that's the older sister's husband. That's the younger sister's husband. This is the unrelated, uh, this is the man who's not married to either sister. The man with the giant hat. Aha! Correct! A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. That's right. Especially a puzzle from a beautiful lady. Great job. The answer is B. Finding the answer to this one just requires close reading. You know the elder sister's husband has no mustache, so he must be A. You also know that the younger sister's husband has no hat, so he's obviously C. With those two choices eliminated, the answer is clear. Oh, you know what? I guess I could have just gone off of that. I made it very convoluted. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the elder sister is E, the little sister is D, and the last woman, F, is married to B. Anyway, don't worry. Sometimes you complicate things and it's okay. Good job and good luck finding that whatchamacallit. You know, the thing with the great name. I bet when you open it, a genie pops out and um, grants you a wish or something. <laughs> Nifty. No, you die. But cool. Do you see that watchtower, Professor? There's something very suspicious about it, isn't there? Well, first, let's talk to this piece of man meat. Hmm, it's not every day you see new faces. Are you visiting from out of town? Yes, in a way, but we're not here to sightsee. We're searching for an antique known as the Elysian Box. Have you heard of it? Hmm, no, that's the first I've ever heard of it. I wish you had. I wish I had some information for you. No, I just can't let visitors to our great town go away empty-handed. Here, it's not a key ring, but please take this puzzle of mine as a souvenir of full sense. The missing shape. Okay. Five shapes are arranged in a sequence, but the fourth shape is missing. Use the four visible shapes to determine the which of A, B, or C should be inserted as the fourth shape in the sequence. Uh, oh, okay. See, this one I kind of, I, I, just so you guys know, I have gone through this game before. Um, It's just been like a month and a bit, and you guys know my brain. Once I finish a game, um, there's a good possibility I'll forget lots of it, unless it's like very important parts. But... Wow, rude seer. It's not completely true. Only with some games that I found it disinteresting. Anyway, but the thing is, the sequence here, it's kind of weird because one, well, I guess one wouldn't work out in the way that they go, but one has no sides. Two, if you look at it, everything from the side, that looks kind of like a two. That also, that looks like a three. This five kind of looks like a five. Which one of these Looks like it might go in the fourth slot. The answer may surprise you. Actually, it's just the middle one because it looks kind of like a four. Consider this puzzle solved. You were thinking of your brain? Ah, that's okay. A true gentleman. I still like your brain, solved. even if it drops things out of it, as long as it doesn't forget about me, like that song. Don't you forget about me? Remember when uh, the Breakfast Club? That was a movie. That's right, B is the answer. I'd love to join an actual breakfast club, but only if they, like, gave you free breakfast all the time. 
The numbers hidden in each shape determine the sequence for this order. When you turn each shape 90 degrees clockwise, a number becomes visible. In the case of B, turning it sideways reveals the number 4. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. Um, my parents used to take us to church um, fairly regularly when we were very young. Um, I hated literally everything about going to church except for the fact that we got donuts and orange juice. I still don't enjoy being inside of churches. They give me, they give me the same sort of feeling I get whenever I go inside of like a large hospital. It just doesn't feel good in them. Yeah, but yeah, free food. Nice work there, fellows. I hate to burst your bubble, but if you are lead on this Elysian box led you here, you may be out of luck. See, many of the residents who were full sense experts skedaddled a few years ago. It all started over a strange rumor that spread throughout the town like wildfire. Ah, so even if we are in the right place, there may be no one left to ask. Tell me, what was this rumor? Oh, some silly thing about a curse. I'm not entirely sure what it was, to be honest. But I often find myself wondering where all those people who left full sense ended up. Okay. This barricade seems to be strictly enforced. Oh, wait, let's go inside here first, though. Oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah, uh, This whole place is covered in garlic, and it definitely smells like it. Ugh. Yes, it's very pungent. And it's a good thing I brought a handkerchief. My eyes are watering. Uh, my nose hurts just being in here. Uh, finally, some customers! Come in, come in! It's been months since anyone came by. My shop's been out of favor with the townspeople recently. I can see why, or rather, I can smell why. Okay, my shop smells. So what? It's not good for my... It's for the good of my health, you know? It's for protection. We've got what you might call a bit of a vampire problem here in town, and garlic keeps them away, see? Vampires? Seriously? Do I look like I'm joking, boy? You've seen that castle over there, haven't you? That's where the vampires lives. At least, uh, that's what the people say. I'm not saying I believe the talk, but you can never be too prepared, you know. I think you can be. Still, you out of towners should keep an eye out for vampires, uh, just in case. If it really comes down to it, you can always hide out in my shop. It's completely vampire proof. I mean, I guess it depends. I feel like that's like, you know, there's garlic smell and then there's like overpowering the senses. He might be closer to the, the ladder there. Did you see that watchtower? Oh, there's something. Okay, I'm going in the watchtower. Yeah! Darn, that scared me silly, Professor. What's making that awful racket? I don't know, but I think it's coming from right above us. Quick, Luke, up the stairs. But first, let's take a picture. Is the, if, uh, before we do that, let's do this camera mini game. Somebody might be dying, but there are puzzles that need to be solved. Tower, ground floor. Okay. Uh, okay, one of the differences is the garlic is shorter. No, it's not! Incorrect! What? <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. What do you mean I botched it? There were, what do you mean there's no difference there? Okay, I think I have to target the garlic itself, because it's definitely... It's definitely shorter. This should do the trick. What? What do you mean it's incorrect? Uh, well... The I garlic... you can't win them all. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Never mind. Sorry. I keep forgetting. The picture's cropped. I'm sorry, everyone. The picture is cropped, so it looks like the garlic is shorter. But the garlic is not shorter. It, the picture itself just doesn't capture nearly as much of the room. So let's go after this first. That's spilled there. I know one of the garlic thingies is messed up, though. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. First difference. Also, that mirror is cracked. Consider this puzzle solved. Man, I can't believe I fucked out that puzzle like immediately. And there we have it. 
You're correct. Are you? Well, I mean, after seeing the chiropractor, I would hope you were cracked. Oh, that's the one. The garlic's missing from the top, not the bottom. Consider this puzzle solved. Speaking of which, have you been using your terrifying torture apparatus? Yeah, cracked and stretched. They were just like a baker, you know, cracking and kneading and stretching. Found all the differences. It makes your next. Oh, no. Hopefully it actually starts having some like marked improvements. Okay, garlic puzzle. I've struck gold. I found a hidden puzzle. Have you now? The fake coins. What? I thought it would have to do with garlic, not coins. There are 10 coins in each of the five bags below. One of these bags is filled with fake coins that are lighter than the real ones. A real coin weighs 10 grams, but a fake coin is one gram lighter. You're using a scale that can register up to 200 grams. What is the fewest number of times you could use the scale to find the one bag filled with fake coins? I think it's three. I think it's three. Because basically you could take one coin from each. Well, it couldn't be one, yeah. Is yeah, e each of these coins weighs 10 grams. So if you took one from every last one of them, then you definitely know that well, you'd, you'd already know that one of them was messed up, but if you took, like, one from one and two and weighed them, and then three and four, and then five... Uh, maybe it's more than three. I feel like it's a very low number, though. The bag of fake coins contains only fake coins, each of them one gram lighter than a real coin. So you could take one coin out of each bag and weigh them each in turn, using the scale five times. But then that wouldn't make for a very interesting puzzle, would it? Well, the thing is, even if you weighed up, like, if you weighed all of these together, then you'd be like, you'd already know that one of them is fake, but you wouldn't know exactly, like, which one. But... Maybe it is two. Ah, shit. Think about how to accomplish your goal of fewer than five weighings. If you tried to weigh all the bags at once, yeah, you, okay. Yeah, because if you took, would it just be two then? I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it is two. Three and four, that's 20 of I pro, yeah. Okay. No, it's not, shit. Maybe it's like three then. I know it's very, it's a very small amount. I swear to God, if it's like one, I'm going to be mad, though, because I'll be like, you can't. Here, let me check the last ten just in case. Hint two had the idea of weighing all the bags at once. There are ten 10 gram coins in each of the five bags for a total of 500 grams. But one bag contains fake coins, so the weight is actually less than that. Perhaps the key to solving this really is to weigh all the bags at once, in a sense. Maybe it- oh no. Actually, I, I feel like... And now to test my theory. It is one! God, fucking debated! Huh, wonderful. You got it. You only need to use the scale once. From every bag, remove the number of coins indicated by the bag's number. Then you just weigh these 15 coins once. If all the coins were real, their combined weight would be 150 grams, but you'll end up with a weight less than this. The difference between this actual weight and 150 grams, of course, that corresponds to the number on the bag of fake coins. I know, it's not something you'd ever fucking think about, but it makes sense. 
because no matter which one held the coins, you'd know on the first weighing because of the difference. But yeah, like this, this line of thinking is something that I don't, this is a different level of thought. You know, it's just, there's a lot going on. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, that puzzle actually made me break a sweat. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Yeah, this is four parallel universes ahead. I know, there's, there's some crazy brain energy going on here that I cannot, I cannot keep up with. Okay, um, well, we got all the hint coins and stuff there, I think. Up we go. Ah! Blasted vampires, get off my property! Uh, are you alright, mister? Hmm? Who goes there? Wait, you don't need to tell me. I know a vampire henchman when I see them. Whoa, wait a second. What are you talking about? We just heard a scream and came to investigate. Say what you will, Sonny, but it won't do you any good. I see through your vampire lies. If you really want me to believe you're not vampires, you'll solve this puzzle and you'll do it quickly. Top of the tower. Yeah. Like, that's why I don't feel too bad when I can't always solve, like, the latent puzzles. Because some of them require you thinking in, like, just a very, very strange way. Like this one. I remember this one. In one quiet town, there's a tower that commands a view of the whole town. Since you can see every building in town from the tower, logic dictates that you should be able to see the top of the tower from any building in town. As you can see on the map shown below, however, there's one building in town from which you clearly have no chance of seeing the top of the tower, no matter which window you look out of. Can you find this building? Like, this one is... So dumb. It's so dumb. It makes sense, but I hate it. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you you guys can go ahead and guess on this, because I already know the answer. I don't wanna I don't wanna finish it up too soon in case you you have an idea. Because this is another one of those ones that I thought, like, way too hard about, and then I was like... Really? Like... Really, guys? Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and, and solve it then. This is... It is the tower. You're right. Submit. Oh yeah, you gotta go to bed, okay. Thank you so much for stopping by, Seer. I hope that you and the boy get plenty of rest for tomorrow, but yeah. Thank you for being here. It's always good to see you. Good thinking. From inside the tower, there's no way to see the top of it. You may be able to stick your neck out a window and look up, but you still won't be able to see the top of it. Yeah, well, what if you're a giraffe? They can, they can stick their neck out super far. Hmm, pretty good for a vampire. Unless you're not one of the bloodsuckers underlings after all. If that's how it is, then listen to me when I tell you best keep away from the castle over yonder. <sighs> Duh. It's the nest of one of the most fearsome undead creatures around. A real, um, live vampire. A real live vampire, you say? Don't make me say it again. Bonk. Rumors have surfaced regarding a vampire said to live in the castle at the edge of town. 
terrified by such talk, not a soul in full sense dares to go near the castle. Could a vampire actually be living up in Herzen Castle? Finding a lead out here is slow going, isn't it? Indeed, perhaps our only real choice is to wait for the Herzen Museum to open. Gosh, if that's the case, maybe we should revisit the museum. You never know, it might have opened up while we were away. You have a point, Luke. I hope the museum proves more useful to us this time than it did the last. The professor and Luke decide to pay another visit to the Herzen Museum. Yeah, it is covered in garlic. Excuse me, hamster, can you help me find hint coins? This man just has mirrors and chains and stuff everywhere, and it's kind of freaking me out. Okay, but I think I'm actually, I'm going to stop this recording for now, because we've already been live for, well, it's already been two hours for recording, so. But yes, then we will go to the Herzen Museum again. <laughs>